Sologenics receives FDA IND clearance for phase two clinical trial of synthetic hypericin in the treatment of psoriasis. Here to walk us through this and tell us more is Dr. Chris Pullian, medical director at Sologenics. But before we dive into that, Chris, can you give a little intro to yourself for everybody here? Hi, sure, Michael. Nice to be talking to you today. Uh, I'm, my name is Christopher Pullian. I'm the medical director for Sologenics. I've been with the company about 10 years, um, and for a lot of that time, starting in 2014, I've been involved with the development of this molecule we're discussing today, um, helping in every aspect from protocol design uh, and implementation, as well as oversight of the logistics and review of all the medical and safety, and then most importantly, relaying all those findings into a digestible, comprehensive package that you can submit to the uh, Food and Drug Administration. Wonderful. Very glad to hear it. And we're after something digestible here today. Can you just give us the 411 or the, the Reader's Digest version of this news release so people can understand the significance of it? Sure. Yeah. Um, so first off, like I said, we've been working with this molecule for some time, uh, synthetic hypericin. Um, first and foremost, we were exploring its uh, potential use in cutaneous T-cell uh, lymphoma. And that's extremely important because there is an, uh, an orphan designation there. Uh, we have fast track status uh, to, to study this uh, indication. And it's a real unmet medical need uh, for the patient population where they need um, additional options, specifically options that are, that are safe and, and effective. Um, but it's also just the first step in development of this molecule. The press release today, um, it basically illustrates the next step uh, in, in the advancement that we have, where we're now going to explore this in psoriasis, um, another unmet medical need um, that is very important for us to explore the utility. All right, Chris. So uh, what would you say are the real key takeaways here, the real highlights that people need to understand about this release then? Sure. The, 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 the key takeaways is that we're continuing to advance um, and explore different applications for this molecule. Um, it's, a, it's a novel therapeutic approach. It involves um, visible light uh, on a topical treatment that so far has demonstrated to be well, to uh, well tolerated by all the patients that have been involved in our clinical research studies. Um, we explored this in cutaneous T-cell lymphoma originally because of the T-cell mediated nature of the disease where you have those malignant T cells that are uh, migrating out into the surface skin tissue. Um, in psoriasis lesions, you have the same type of T cell involvement in that the inflammatory markers and everything that are being recruited to the sites where the patients eventually develop the patches um, that, are, that are the main source of irritation for their disease um, are brought about by, by T cells. And so the target in both disease um, indications is the same. And this isn't just speculation. Uh, this is all, of course, based on a phase two study that already demonstrated effect um, up to 80% in, in psoriasis patients. It was done at reputable institutions such as MD Anderson, the University of Pennsylvania, and the Cleveland Clinic. So what we're doing and what this this release is letting the public know is we're continuing to build upon that base of knowledge. We're going to test um, this already uh, proven to be well tolerated uh, drug in in this this patient population, and in my opinion, I, I think what we're doing is continuing to explore um, a very interesting and important uh, option for patients, uh, where we can provide something that is not only if possibly effective in in treating their disease, but is also something that. Uh, can be safer and more well tolerated than a lot of the other options that are currently available. What's interesting, Chris, then, is this use case is for a much, a potentially much larger group of people. The amount of people suffering from psoriasis astronomically higher, higher than CTC sufferers, correct? So, so do you think that's something that um, shows a lot of promise in that regard? Well, absolutely. I mean, you're, you're not wrong there. I mean, um, it, psoriasis is interesting in the fact that while it's still an unmet medical need, it's a very large patient population, uh, estimates north of over 100 million uh, worldwide patients that, that suffer with, uh, you know, mild, moderate uh, psoriasis. So the opportunity to potentially have an impact on, on a patient population that big is, is very exciting. Agreed, agreed. Well, Chris, thank you for walking us through the news release today. Thank you for introducing yourself. Would love to have you on again. If anybody has any questions for Dr. Pauline here, don't be afraid to submit them below. We'll happily dive into them. For now, Chris, closing words before we go. 
No, thank you. I'd love to speak with you again. Like I said, uh, we're involved in advancing this research. We plan to uh, initiate this, this clinical research study by the end of this year. Um, and when that is up and running, if people have questions and you'd like to get, a, get an update, I'd, I'd be happy to come back and talk to you about it then. Wonderful. Well, Dr. Pullian, thank you so much for your time and thank you everybody watching. Stay tuned for more coming soon. Chris, have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too, Michael.